All right, so embarking on my new project. So here's what we got going on. I have purchased or are looking at purchasing these two PCs uh, from my friends Tim and Erica. Is this one? This big one here. And then this smaller but also a little bit newer one down here. And what I'm going to do with these PCs over the next couple of weeks, hopefully weeks and not months, is uh, convert them and uh, convert them to some very specific purposes. So there's a couple different things that I'm going to be doing for these machines. And so I'm going to be um, tearing them down, cleaning them heavily, and then repurposing them. But before I do that, I have to actually evaluate the systems and make sure they're still good. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. So system number one here, as you can see, is um, a mid, mid to late 2010s-ish system because it's got, um, I don't know how well it's going to show here, and it's upside down, but it's an i7-920. Uh, it's got six gigs of RAM, pretty good for the time. Uh, it has a Wi-Fi card, though that Wi-Fi card looks a little bit antiquated. I don't think it does uh, AC. Uh, and it's got an 850 watt power supply. So um, some of the things I'm going to be looking for here, um, does the system boot up, does it turn on? What I'm thinking I'm going to do with this system is this system is going to become the backbone of my new home server. So um, this motherboard is a, uh, I believe an X58 motherboard. So that's a pretty good chipset. The CPU is extre extremely old. It's a, it's a 13 year old CPU. But uh, what I did was I looked up online and I found that I can get a Xeon 3690, I believe it is, which is a six core uh, server grade CPU on eBay for like about 40 bucks. So my plan is uh, I'm gonna test it and if it works, if the board is good, then I'm gonna order that CPU off eBay and we're gonna plop that in there. We're gonna upgrade the memory in here um, up to the full uh, motherboard's full load of 24 gigs. And this is going to be paired with some uh, new, a new case. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in this case. So this case you're looking at here, this big monstrosity, it's not practical at all and it's not in great shape. So I'm going to ditch this case, but I'm going to put this PC into the other one. And then I'm going to, for the other one, I'm going to get a new case. So that's PC number one. Um, PC number two down here. This is a little bit newer. So this is an i5. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know how to make that. Yeah, an i5 fourth gen, four core processor. Not as good for a server. However, a lot newer, as you can see it's on the H97 chipset. This PC is um, probably a 2014 or 2015 range. So this one is going to become my new all-in-one emulator PC that I'm gonna put in my, my gaming room you know, in front of my big 65 inch TV. So this is gonna be the PC that I use to power all my emulators. Uh, it has a 650 watt power supply that actually looks in pretty decent shape. So um, I'll still be using that. And while I'm gonna be using this case for the other computer as the server case, um, the motherboard, the CPU, the power supply are going to go into uh, a new case. It's a little nicer, a newer one. Uh, and so that's gonna be ordered. Additionally, I have two graphics cards that came with them. One of them was this uh, GTX 960, uh, four gig, very good card. And then um, the one in the box here is not the one that the box says. This is just a box I used to carry from their house. Um, this inside that box is a GTX 970, four gigabyte. So that's our components. Um, I'm gonna be, uh, before I, like I said, before I do anything, I'm gonna have to test things. So. First of all, do both machines power on? Do they both post? Um, and then if that's the case, then what we need to do, the BIOS on this one is probably fine, but the BIOS on this one will need to be updated so that it can handle the bigger Xeon chip that I'm gonna buy. So once we've established that they can both turn on, uh, once we've established that the power supplies are still good, um, our next step will be to uh, make sure we can update the BIOS. So that's what I'm gonna be working on tonight.